Hello guys, Splime here. Today I'd like to welcome you to the studio. In today's episode of Cinema 4D Tips and Tricks, I'm going to be showing you a very requested um, video on Cinema 4D physics, and more specifically, how I did the blocks falling and blocks cracking type effect in my intros. Um, I did it in Citric Juice's intro with the stone box um, exploding, and also I did it in the new, pretty recent Nebelneck animation. Um, which had the cakes falling from the sky. So it's a really good effect, um, it can be used in many different ways, and hopefully I guys help you out um, with your graphics um, activity. So what I'm going to be doing first off is showing you uh, the capabilities of the graphics within Cinema 4D, sorry, not graphics, um, <laughs> physics within Cinema 4D, and then I'm going to apply our knowledge with physics and then put it into a Minecraft world, which I'm assuming a lot of you are going to be um, wanting to know how to do. Um, I've just brought in a uh, generic world I had on my saves and but you know you can if you don't know how to import a world I'll be uh, there's, there's other tutorials out there um, on YouTube which you can look up if not I might do a tutorial later on. But that's relevant I'm gonna go straight into um, show you Cinema 4D physics. So I'm gonna show you Say you have blocks or something, I'm using Weed Lion's block pack, so I'll go back. Um, there's my, there's, uh, sorry, where is it? Okay, so there's Minecraft model pack by Weed Lion. There are a few different packs which I've had, which have had different types of blocks in them. Um, but basically they're the same, just different uh, blocks might be in it, there might be different sizes. But, you know, you can find your own packages. If not, this can work with a, just a normal cube. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to show you, first of all, a cube, and then I'm going to put in a few blocks. So I'm going to get an ore. Um, this can work for any block, and I'm going to put in, say, a diamond ore. How about that? Um, now, you're probably wondering why the cube is big. It's because it's scaled to 200 centimeters when we really want it to be um, all the axes 100 centimeters. So we get the same size there. Um, now, as for physics goes, um, you're going to need to set up an environment for these blocks. Um, what I like to do is, say you want a um, blocks to fall from the sky, okay? Um, let's grab a few, control C, control V, let's grab a few here, um, just spread them out like this, uh, I don't know, something like this, spread them out, do whatever you want, rotate them a bit. Um, now let's rotate these a bit, drag them out, um, there we go, there we go, um, we we'll just control C, control V, and make them a bit over here, um, there we go, and then we can allow these, just lift them all up, put them in the sky somewhere, and there's our blocks. Now, at the current point in time, nothing's happening to the block, it's because we haven't added uh, what's called a Cinema 4D simulation tag, which I'll get to later, but for now I'm going to add a plane, which is where, the, sorry, <laughs> in here, which is where the blocks are going to hit, and then they're going to collide with and slide across. So I'm just going to increase the width, I'm going to increase the height, let's say maybe 2,000. 2,000, and 2,000. Okay, so we have a nice little plane there, and the blocks, can, you can kind of see that they're going to land on it. If not, I'll just push these back a bit, um, like that. Um, and there we are. So what we want to do with this plane now is add what's called a collider body. So what this does is when the blocks fall onto the plane, um, uh, it isn't actually going to allow it to spread out yet, um, but it allows it to be... Um, a collider body. <laughs> um, bit obvious there, but yeah, anyway. So we're going to go into the diamond ores, we're going to select all of them, click tags, go to simulation tags again, and go to rigid body. So now this allows for the plane to act as a kind of surface in which these blocks fall and hit and spread out. So now with that enabled, um, the blocks should fall down like this and hit the surface and bounce away. There we are, just there. Now, if you're wondering if you want to set it up so the blocks don't fall straight away, so if we play that, there we are. If you want it, yeah, like I said, if you want it to play at a different time, all we need to do is just uncheck, like, keyframe the dynamics if they're going to be enabled or not. So just keyframe it so it's not, and then keyframe it when it is, is on. Um, 
and there you have it so it's not gonna it's not gonna fall just yet um, applying it's not gonna fall and then when you keyframe it it does fall so I can just make this a bit longer and obviously because of Cinema 4D's physics uh, the higher it is to off the surface the bigger the impact is gonna be you know, like in real life <laughs> um, so there you are and you've got the blocks falling now if you wanted to you know make this an extreme fall uh, you can just put it up higher and the blocks will fall except the other thing about that is uh, it's gonna take longer to hit the ground even though the velocity does increase as the time goes by now another thing you can do is um, make it so time in, in essentially slows down when the blocks hit so I'm gonna go back to the tag here and I'm gonna just delete this I want it to start straight on um, it just makes it easier for me sorry undo that I just deleted all of them um, select all these again I'm gonna enable it keyframe it there I'm going to delete these keyframes I'm sorry oh there we are okay sorry my fault um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make time slow down okay so when these blocks fall I'm going to make its time slow down about here so it's kind of a slow motion effect um, in essence which is a really cool effect um, so and this is all using Cinema 4D's capabilities within physics so I'm gonna go mode project go to dynamics and let's let's find the point in the animation where the blocks hit the ground so about there we want it 85 now as you can see here gravity is not hundred per thousand which is the normal default setting so what that means is the blocks are falling down using gravity if you put that to zero the blocks won't fall they would either spread out or it's like kind of like the moon zero gravity um, although the moon is has does have some gravity um, so if we say put this down to zero right now um, if we play the animation you'll see that the blocks don't actually hit the ground they do nothing because the gravity is zero um, if you put it to 100 it'll fall really slowly yeah we are that's using graphics if you say do minus 100 the opposite will happen um, and, you know and vice versa it's going up which is kind of weird but you know it can be used in uh, in your own way but the other thing we we don't really need to mess around with this the thing we really wanted to use is the time scale so this makes the slow motion work so I'm gonna go to uh, keyframe 85 I believe I'm gonna keyframe this from a hundred percent and bring it down to say ten percent seven percent or something like that keyframe it um, and there we go if we play the animation now the blocks will fall and look at that slow motion effect I'll actually make this a bigger so I'll just make this uh, 500 um, to increase the workspace and then when we see that we get this really nice slow motion effect and what we can do here is get a camera you know um, what's it doing is it's actually slowing down everything except cameras so if you get a camera and say um, want it to zoom in when it's on the slow-mo we can go keyframe it and then say zoom into the animation I don't know this is just messing around obviously your camera movement is going to be a bit smoother than this but yeah basically you can zoom in while it's doing slow-mo so let's do this the blocks hit you can zoom around even when it's slow-mo so that's a really cool effect um, hopefully that helped you out but now um, I'm gonna show you and put that into a Minecraft world and show you that it's the same basic idea um, so I'm gonna drag this I'm gonna go window put it into my other window and drag this in now let's say you want the blocks to fall maybe oh sorry I've got all the keyframing off turn that off um, say you want the blocks to fall on this spot here um, I don't know on the sand or something so you've got a scene set up or something over here with a character running across here um, what you want to do is grab the plane and um, I know this sounds weird but you're going to need to put it might ruin the animation but there is a way to fix this you are got to place this on all the sand or the area you want to cover to make the blocks fall that looks really ugly but we can fix this by going 
and making a new material. Because you don't want that plane to show in your render. And by the way, these aren't my best render settings. I've just made a new world and added it. But I'm going to do another tour of render settings if you guys want. Um, but make a new material and uncheck color, uncheck specular, just add transparency and make sure it's on 100%. And then we drag this onto the plane. And voila, it's, it's not there because it's 100% transparent. So if you render that out, even with your render settings, it won't show. But the blocks will still recognize that as a surface and bounce off it. If you do not have this plane, however, um, you can't, I've actually tried it, you can't add a collider body to um, the weld, which is a bit disappointing, but, you know, you can work around it. So what's going to happen now is when it hits this, um, it's going to bounce away, and I'll just show you that right now. So it's going to play. It's going to fall, hopefully. Sorry, let's go back down. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Bit of a error here in my behalf. Let's go back to the diamonds. Okay. Um. Okay, where are they going? Let's put them over to where the plane is, see if this works. Okay, let's keyframe it there, see if that helps. Okay, there we are. So there, now we see the diamond blocks fall and roll across. Now what you're going to see is if you plane, your plane isn't long enough, the blocks are going to go off the edge of the plane and kind of just go through your weld, which is why you need to be careful when you're doing your plane. Okay, so also another thing is you can probably see that um, the plane kind of goes underneath this, these blocks here and stuff like that. Um, to fix that, you're going to have to manually do different types of planes which go over this. So then when the blocks hit, they bounce over instead of going straight through it. Um, so what I would recommend, maybe I'm doing a smaller plane and then just adding a few around to... And also on here, so this building here, maybe put a plane on top of it depending on where your block's going to fall. But you definitely do not want them to go off the sides, because that kind of ruins your animation. So now, guys, hopefully I you did understand part of this tutorial, or somewhat a lot of it, um, <laughs> and um, helped you with your animations. Uh, also, what you can do is experiment with different things like uh, collider bodies and cloth colliders and soft body. Um, but you know, I've just experimented and that's what I've come up with and there's a diff tons of different things you can do with this. Um, you can make the gravity, um, uh, I don't think we took the slow motion, no we didn't. So we can go back to project, dynamics, and we can go back to the frame where it hits, it's so about there. And go time scale, 100% to, let's go 7 again. I can even increase it. Up, so you can go like a thousand percent, which would be ridiculously fast. Um, so yeah, that, that's a really cool effect. Um, we're gonna go down and slow motion. So yeah, that, that's, I like, I really like that effect. So if we go start, there we are, slow mo. A bit too late there, <laughs> but we can fix that up. We can just change this to one hundred percent again. Um. Uh, we can go back to say where it hits. Don't know where it hits. Yeah, there's a bit of a glitch with Sima 4D when using physics. Like if you keep playing and then you're going to go back to a different spot, you can see it just keeps playing. Um, but you just have to keep going back to the start. So we're going to slow down here. Hopefully I'm not talking too fast. By the way, I feel like I'm rushing this, but I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. So here we go. Let's have a last play. There we go. Slow motion. Have a cool camera move in there. Oops, I just moved the plane. Don't do that. There we go. You can zoom in, pan the camera or something. Yeah. There we are. Um, and you just saw blocks fall. Um, but yeah, hope this helps you out. Feel free to like the video if that really helps me out. And um, if you really want, subscribe for more tutorials and intros and stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks guys. See you later.